Dollar has been the defensive choice for many players in Madden 24 for quite some time now. However, there is a new play and way to run this defense that everybody's been overlooking that is absolutely fire. And in today's Madden 24 video, I'm going to break down just how to do it. YouTube, what is up? It is your boy Duke, back here from sportsgamers.com. I got an absolute banger for you guys today. So I found a new way of running dollar, and it's really just a new play that everybody's been overlooking. And it's so easy to set up, but it's so effective. It gets really good pressure against a lot of common protection schemes people use from blocking the running back, double teaming, even slide protecting. This is gonna beat it. The setup's easy, and it's also easy to stop your run and adjust the coverage. So it's really got everything you need. Now, you can run this out of a lot of playbooks with dollar. I personally like e either using the Jets or Kansas City Chiefs playbook on defense. And when running dollar, I'm going to go ahead and set the following coaching adjustments. I recommend having auto flip off. That's a must with base alignment. And that's just going to allow you guys to get the proper alignment, not have any coverage tells, and make sure that when you're setting this blitz, it's coming the right way because we only want to blitz really from the left when we're in dollar. Now, a lot of people will tell you to set different zone drops. I'm the type of guy that like I will adjust these throughout the game. You don't have to have these on any specific set uh, number. I sometimes will have them on the fault so I can shade them up or down. Shading up and down does give you more flexibility. Whereas if you set, say, hooks to a certain depth, say you set them on 20, no matter if you shade up or down, they're going to always play at 20. So, you know, that's kind of on you depending upon how you want to defend. Now, the play we're going to come out in is going to be this overload three seam. This play has been super slept on, and I really don't know why, because it is money. So the setup is extremely easy here. I'm going to break down a few different ways to run this, a few different adjustments, and a few different pressure schemes. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole video, or else you're going to miss out on important info. And if you want more high-level Madden 24 content like this, tips and gameplays, I do daily videos. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, drop me a like, comment on the video. It helps me out, be able to still continue to do these free videos for you guys. And I really do appreciate the support. This setup is very easy. And the first way I'm going to show you guys is the most basic, easiest way to run it. All you have to do to make this blitz work is press your coverage by hitting coverage audible, which is triangle Y, then down on the left stick. And then you're going to pinch your D-line by hitting left on the D-pad, down on the left stick. You could literally run it like this and have great success. There are other coverage adjustments I do that I'll get into, but just to show you guys, like this is super easy to use. Look at how quick this pressure comes. And that was just with two steps, pinching the D-line and pressing your coverage. So the reason why I really like this blitz is that by default, it's a five-man rush. You get this linebacker coming up the left A gap, but then you also get that slot corner coming off the left edge. So there's two people coming free. Therefore, if they try different combinations of blocking the running back, slide protecting, IDing the mic, double teaming, whatever, uh, it's still coming free pretty much regardless. And the thing about it is it's super easy to set up. You don't have to blitz the left side corner of the linebacker. They're already blitzing. So it gives you a lot of time to adjust your coverage. So you guys can see here, I just use the linebacker kind of over the middle to short that or cover that short middle of the field area. That's really it. But like, yes, there's definitely some adjustments I like to do to my covers once I set up the basic blitz. Again, the basic blitz is the presser coverage, pinch or D-line. So one thing I do a lot is I'll shade my coverage. I do not like those purple zones by default. They don't do much. So I'm going to a lot of times like to have hard flats. You can simply get a hard flat by shading your coverage underneath. Again, you hit triangle or Y and down on the stick, <clears throat> basically right stick to shade them underneath. When you do this, um, you know, this is cover three. So as long as you have like mid zone, deep zone KO on your outside corners, the sidelines are protected. So is the quick flat. And then your job is to just basically free roam and guard the middle of the field. Another thing you could do is QB contain. QB contain is RB, RB or R1, R1. When you do that, it's a little bit harder to roll out. But I will say if you are going to QB contain, you only really want to have the DN on the right of the screen containing. So the way to do that is once you QB contain, you also re-blitz the DN on the, the left of the screen. To do that, you hit left on the D-pad twice, his icon for me, that's square, and then down on the right stick. So then you have one contain, and then the blitz will still work very well. So this is how this blitz is going to work with the hard flats and the contain. You guys can see the blitz still comes in pretty much just the same. We cover the short middle, and it's a bag. It's caged. Everything's good. Do you want to become a better Madden player and win more games? If so, check out my premium Madden strategy website, sportsgamers.com. I have built sportsgamers.com to provide you with the best Madden tips, best Madden ebooks and schemes, all from the pros at the lowest price possible. 
I have helped thousands upon thousands of Madden players improve their games, and I can help you as well. Our VIP Madden membership is our best offer yet. This membership will include all of our Madden eBooks all year long and hundreds of weekly Madden Vault tip updates to keep you ahead of the game. Click the link in the description and use coupon code DUKE for 10% off your order. Everything's well covered. Now, the reason why I really like this is a lot of smart players. They'll see your blitz and they'll say, mm, I'm a slide protect right because they know slide protect right normally picks up A gaps. And you're going to notice that if they, they want to go that route of slide protecting to the right, this blitz still will work. So again, you guys can see I slide right, and hey, what do you know? The blitz still comes in. Um, a lot of times, you know, people will block running. But hey, you could even max protect. I'm going to max protect. Look, I'm going to max protect, and you'll see this blitz is still very consistent even when they max protect. So, you know, just blocking extra players does not really affect this blitz. I've literally blocked my tight end and my running back, and as you guys can see here, the blitz still comes in. I only sent out three people, and I got sacked. There was nothing open. So, you guys can see what I mean. This blitz is, like, very difficult to block. The average player is really going to struggle against this. You guys can see my user standing over the right guard. I do take, like, a hair step forward, a split step forward. Then I'm dropping back over the middle. And, you know, having that contain, now if you try to roll out, the contain is waiting right for you. Especially if you're under pressure on them, you're going to be good to go. Now, I want to break down some different ways you can set up this blitz, different cover adjustments, etc. Um, but I do want to go over my abilities, like I said. Definitely have the mid zone KO and deep zone KO on your safeties and corners. For the slot corners, I like to have flat zone KO and mid zone KO if possible. And really like my D end, I like on the right of the screen, I like under pressure because I will put them on a contain a lot. So if they have roaming dead eye and try to roll out, the contain should be at least close enough to them that if you have under pressure, you'll force bad throws. So the different ways you can set up this coverage and uh, just the splits, there's a lot. You could just... Again, set up the base blitz, basically pinch your D-line pressure coverage. Something I'll do a lot is on the right, I'll keep the cover three, but on the left, I'll turn it into a cover two by putting the safety in a deep half and then an outside corner in a flat zone. So basically, this turns it into kind of like a cover three cloud type situation uh, where I have, cover, like I said, cover three on one side, cover two on the other. And so it kind of looks like this. Now, when you do that, you can have cloud flat or hard flat, doesn't really matter. But regardless, your job is still the same thing you're going to look to cover the middle of the field with your user. Again, after the snap, you guys see I take that away. There's really nothing there. One other thing I want to mention is sometimes I will even blitz the slot corner on the right of the screen. You know, if they're getting really rollout happy, just trying to double team the ends, like on the right of the screen, especially in this immediately roll out. If you blitz that guy too, that guy's going to come completely free off the edge. They're going to get screamed at. They might throw a wild pick just like that, or at the least it's going to be a negative play. So you can definitely turn this anywhere from a five-man blitz to a six-man blitz. And like I said, you also can blitz 4-2. So, you know, if you notice maybe they can't block your blitz uh, and they're not doing any adjustments, you don't even have to blitz the corner on the left of the screen. You can just put them in coverage like here. I put them in a hook zone. Um, I can man them up. Maybe I want to have um, him in a hard flat, play a double Mabel with the safety and a purple. You know, there's a lot of different adjustments you can do. It's completely really up to you what you want to do with this defense. Um, the last thing I will say about it is you can even control this defensive end on the right of the screen in coverage, especially if you have a lurk artist. That's another thing you can do to even make this technically a three-man blitz. So there's a lot of very, very easy ways to adjust this, but I really like this play because the base setup will scream against pretty much all the common things people try to do to counter the dollar A gap. Yes, you can also back up the, the right of screen slot corner too to defeat certain adjustments people want to do, kind of like the free safety zone blitz, but that is not all the way necessary, especially when you're mixing in blitzing the slot corners. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, it's your boy Duke, and I'm out of here.